long does it take for an EV to become carbon neutral? This is a topic that I cover about once a year, and the reason I come back every single year and cover this topic is that it's changing. It's getting shorter. So what exactly does it mean for an EV to become carbon neutral? That is the amount of time it takes for an EV to offset the emissions produced during its manufacturing and, and production process. Now, the first time I did this piece of content roughly five years ago, it was nearly 70,000 miles on average. But what factors go into this? Well, how clean is your grid? Where was your battery made? And what are your driving habits? Now, the fastest state to live in where your EV can become carbon neutral is Washington State. They have an enormous amount of hydroelectric power and carbon neutrality for EVs in Washington State is about 13,500 miles. Once you get to 13,500 miles, you have now offset all of the emissions that were created in the manufacturing and production of your EV. After Washington State, you have Vermont, California, Oregon, and New York. If you live in any of those areas or states, the grid is clean enough where you can reach carbon neutrality fairly quickly in an EV. The worst states, West Virginia, Wyoming, and Kentucky, where you would need to drive somewhere between 68 and 72,000 miles on your EV for it to become carbon neutral. And that is because these states have mainly fossil fuel driven electric grids. If you go buy an EV and you plug it into a power source where the power is generated with coal, you're not doing a whole lot of good. You're just not. Oh, and behind those four states is the state of Texas. And Texas has a, f a massive amount of wind energy. They still rank down there. The national average is about 21,300 miles. So depending on your driving habits, one and a half, two, two and a half years of driving. How would you accelerate your carbon neutrality? Uh, clean energy, having solar at home or enrolling in a green energy plan through your local utility company. These things can increase the speed at which you reach carbon neutrality by 30 to 50%. Another way is cars with smaller EV batteries. The smaller the battery, the lower the manufacturing emissions that were output during the manufacturing process. Long range EVs have much higher emissions during the manufacturing phase. If you wanna know the carbon neutrality where you live, the EPA has a beyond tailpipe emissions calculator on their website where you can plug in your zip code and they will tell you how long it should take you to become carbon neutral. MIT has pretty much the exact same thing. The EIA and the Department of Energy also has a ton of useful data about EV carbon neutrality.